Good evening again and welcome to Alibaba Seriously. We last last week we were on a very sad note uh, when we were talking about the children that died in um, in different traditions. But this week again we want to just say uh, our hearts go to uh, all our hearts here in the studio. We console with the families of anyone who lost. Um, a, a member or anyone, any and any, any dear one, uh, lost anybody during the elections. Uh, we know it's a sad thing, and uh, they've paid the supreme sacrifice. Uh, we, there's nothing else we can say but uh, that uh, God will console them. Uh, thank you for the supreme sacrifice, and uh, our country and the electionary process will get better. All right. That said, we can see how a nation grows to become a great nation uh, with what is happening in Brexit. Everything needs to be discussed. There's, there's no need for violence. Uh, you discuss, you table your issues, and uh, I will get better. All right? We'll get there. Uh, I want to say congratulations to uh, Adeleke uh, for winning the tribunal. Uh, we understand that uh, APC is going to court, but uh, first of all, the man has risen to dance uh, because he has won now. And um, uh, it's, he, 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 he deserves it. And... Uh, if he believes that his, his mandate had been stolen, he should go ahead and, uh, and protest. Uh, and the number of people who have, um, who have been watching us on this show have grown to governors, a do state governor, the former governor for your state, Alawakala, uh, Alakbini, um, a, a lot of them, uh, the governor of uh, Benue State, the governor of Borno State, uh, all of them, they keep watching this show. But I believe that it's the pull over and uh, overflow from the news line that, uh, that is benefiting us as well. So thank you, everyone that watches this show from as far and wide in Nigeria and outside Nigeria as well. A lot of you have asked, why are we not doing the Instagram live again? We'll try and get that back, all right? We'll try and get that back. Then um, there's this Nigerian boy uh, below the age of eight who's playing... Um, Chess. You know. Uh -uh. He's uh. playing chess. Uh, he's playing chess uh, at the federal level. He became a chess master right from the age of six, where he battled with the likes of Isaac Okowa from Surulere. He battled with the likes of Stephen uh, Mauchi from Costa Rica. And this guy is really, really doing Nigeria proud. And that was how it started. Chess can be regarded as a professional game. In some countries, it is gambling, and it has been banned by several like West this. African and um, European Copa Liga country. This guy rose from stardom to fame. No, he rose from fame. Thank, thank you, thank you, we, thank you. Uh, we also want to say, <laughs> Nigerian cricket team, Nigerian cricket team qualified for the finals, the uh, world uh, cricket. Uh, this is the first time, and want to give a big round of applause to Nigerian cricket team. So we're going to. Uh, um, we we believe that Nigeria is going places, and this is our time. We'll be right back. We have a lot lined up. Sami Okpozo, the gospel artist, is ready to uh, come on the show. We have uh, Omar Jua is coming on the show. And Forever, a uh, comedian that is trailing the blaze, blazing the trail. He's doing one of those two. Uh, he's coming on the show as well. Uh, you, both of you know how to plan show now. <laughs> well, I won't be doing my show this year. Uh, why? Don't go to Arena. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. We'll be right back. Uh, our, our show is ready and we're ready to roll. You're welcome. Alibaba Seriously will be right back. <laughs> Good evening and welcome back to... Ali who, who, who am I doing? Okay, welcome back to Alibaba Seriously. Um, I have a troublemaker here, but we'll call him uh, a media engineer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Omojua. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well done. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, let's hit straight to it. Why is social media so strong now? Because that's where everybody is, and those that are not there are going to be there as soon as they connect to the internet. It's engaging, it's informative, you can learn, you can laugh, it's everything. It's, it's like TV, but in a permanent sense. Unlike okay. before, you have to turn on your TV, then you have to hope that they give you something you want, but with social media, you choose what you want. Okay. That's, that, and that's a telling difference. And, and what's the role of social media now in political space? It's massive. I mean, to start with, it, it shapes the narratives of politics. 
it has also helped to democratize activism in a certain sense. In, okay. in, in the past, you would have to wait for certain people to take up some issues. Now, anyone, anywhere, with, with a phone, with internet, can actually take up an issue. And if that issue is deemed to be serious enough by other people, they can join it. And you actually have ordinary people making making change happen. And that's, that's the beauty of it. What is the threat to respect? Because somebody that is 12, 13, and is there no age limit to be on a festival? It, it depends on the platforms. It also depends on the website. Twitter doesn't have age but limit. I think parents have to take responsibility for their children. I thought they said that thing that you must be 18 first before you sign on. So how? There are Twitter accounts that like, Twitter accounts that sell alcohol, for instance, it lets you know that you have to be 18 to join. Okay. But I think once you're a teenager, you should be able to join Twitter okay. generally. But parents also have to be make sure that their, their kids are not on the So wrong parental platform. guardians is needed That's for... That's essential. Okay. Um, what it's... My belief is that it's eroding respect and uh, no, they're not the respect old person again. Once you are on, everybody is age mate. Why? I think it, it, it's a level playing ground. It, it's a level in a certain sense. So Wale Shoenka will, but be there's there, a will not write something. Somebody will not say, get out, Jerry. But there's a cost, <laughs> there's a cost to being disrespectful. Okay. So people use the cover of anonymity to say and do whatever they like. But they, they, can't, they can't use that platform to do good things for themselves. And that's where the cost comes in. Okay. It helps to still be respectful. It helps to be an omoluabi in that okay. sense. Because ultimately, it's your brand, it's your personality, it has value, it has cost. So there's a cost to misbehaving. But other than that, nobody's going to beat anybody for saying, come on for there, carry your head, come on. Even if you're like 70 uh, years old. Uh, yeah. No, but, but yeah, that, some, that's, some that's if you don't catch the person. Yeah, yeah, some of those insults are painful. No, <laughs> uh, yes. no, no really. But I mean, it's part of the hazards of being on those platforms. There was a guy, the Beto. Somewhere in Delta, he went to meet him at all. Who said make you like my picture? <laughs> I'll be your mate. Someone for liking no, no. The guy wore uh, an outfit and then the guy commented, okay. "Now nah, fake you wear." He went to be recording this. Hey, for I mean, your people life. have been people no, have been punished for people have suffered the consequences of misbehavior. Because, like I was saying. If you post someone's nudes, okay. we will, I will work with the police and we'll get you. And somebody okay. said, what if I use the cover um, anonymous account? I said, whatever accounts you use, we will the get you. Address. There's always a way to get people when the matter is really, really serious. Even the Nigeria police, when they really want to do the thing they want to do, they will get you. Now that you've gone to that area, <laughs> why there are people who sell fake things or, mm. or they collect money and don't deliver goods. Mm. But then you now say, you paid to a bank. That means somebody collected the money. When you go to the bank, why do they still delay in letting them fish out the person that owns that account and runs that account? I, I think banks have, banks have responsibilities. I think it's important to, first of all, to help them steal our money. Uh, mm -hmm. They have responsibilities to their customers as much as they have to you who wants to catch a criminal. Okay. It's about balancing. Everybody has to do their role. So maybe you might have to go to the police station or go collect some documentation that this has happened. You present it. The police works with them. Definitely something will happen. But if you buy yourself, just go to the bank. It might be difficult because you are not a law unto yourself. Well, you have you have proof that you paid money That's to the person. Thing. Okay, you know the way this thing is. Eh? There are there are processes to everything. You can see that, for instance, some people they don't see they've stolen money. You know that this person has stolen money. Don't talk about politicians. Talk I, about. I didn't mention politicians. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, thought, I didn't okay. mention politicians. No, I, 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 I just like this. Uh, you can abuse anybody. You know. So, hey, you know, hey, see, 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 I will say the one that you say I should say about Sarakina. You will hear. You, 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 you are only finished in this country. When so, yeah, so that there, there are processes. As much as we would like to at least say, ah, but this thing we can see, there, there are processes. Go to the police station. If you don't have, I mean, it's first of all, it's wrong that we don't have the, you know, 911, all these kind of numbers. Okay. But just step into the police station. If they try to collect money from you, make another report to some other person. There are ways around it. There, there's always a way around it. But you cannot just go to the bank and say, oh, this person has stolen my money. Um, give me the person's address or whatever. There are ways around okay. it. Okay. Uh, the, there's this other thing that a lot of people don't use. The, the social media is a great platform to market yourself look at the boy with the drawing for this kevin Hart. kevin has massive massive, massive. massive. His life is but some forever. other people so but some other people will be on that same platform and be begging money so that's the beauty of it right social media is like a gun okay in the wrong hands good person go die okay but in the right hands bad person go die and social media too that helped linda linda kg bella look i can't count olori supergirl i've been to places that i never would have taught all over the world and 
I mean, I have my mind and everything, but principally it was because I was plugged to, to the internet and social media. Okay. So it's the, the, the power is massive. And even at the time that this guy started doing this thing, internet was slow compared yeah, yeah, yeah. and they I still mean, when, when i started when i started you had to, to browse very very well you had to go and do overnight browsing 10 to 5 pm buffering and then because <laughs> when you pay to browse when you pay to browse the conventional time first of all it's 90 minutes or one uh, or, or two hours but i want you know that, that time, you want to inspire you you have to be praying for it to load you could pray worship do everything and it's still not load but now you, you do everything on your phone you can do it from any part of the world the opportunities are massive thankfully i'm also documenting it in july i'm going to release a document okay. a book that mm -hmm. captures where the things well, we've well. done across the continent mm -hmm. what's currently happening and the opportunities that are coming now netflix it's is it a cost or a blessing on the nigerian hollywood industry it's a blessing it's a blessing because if we first of all netflix is going to make some demands on the industry in terms of excellence okay in terms of professionalism in terms of doing things the right way it's going okay. to make those demands because netflix has a standard that you can't you can't just wake up in the like morning it, okay. and you know gather ourselves together and say we have, I think we have movie that the we fact have that they before. are going to even make that demand is good for us because we have been obsessed with numbers more than we have been obsessed with quality, with quality. Yeah. and that's important we need to evolve to the next level yeah. and these numbers i will call for nollywood i don't believe them i don't believe that nollywood produce um, the industry is about 3.5 billion dollars I, I don't think so because there's no number that proves it the biggest nollywood um capital with respect to money from government or any other source is from the back of industry and that's about five million dollars okay so if an industry is producing 3.5 billion dollars we should be talking much more money Baba, 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 it's, it's true it's true you since when um Nigeria we started all this blood money that can i can i can i all this money they added it to this that's why it's like three point something <laughs> <laughs> but Netflix will definitely, without a question, it will make a demand on excellence, on professionalism. And the beauty is, everybody's going to be well paid. Okay. Because no, now, no, you have a monopoly in the DSTVs of this world. Okay. So the more the Netflix, the Amazons, the Facebook have, they have their own platform. The more the number of these people coming into our industry, really and truly, because the beauty of competition is that it makes a demand on everyone, and then everyone has a choice. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, uh, like, you, you know, I wasn't wrong when I said he's a social media, he's a media engineer, social media expert, uh, Omojua. Uh, he's still with us here and we'll be relying on some of his uh, experiences when we come back. Oh, giving me vote today. Uh, all right, you, you know, we need to be grateful to God and thank God for everything that is happening to us. Um, I think that the people in London now have to be thanking God. So the UK people have to thank God because this Brexit thing, eh? There's no way to not affect them. I think the people who started that thing were people who thought that the UK was the world. And then when it began to dawn on them that a lot of the things they were enjoying in the UK were imported. <laughs> the Brexit now turned. Breaks no. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm bringing on stage now one of the comedians that has taken this trade out of these uh, borders, has taken it to uh, the UK, and he did very well. And he's planning his own show now, and he's, uh, I think he's going to be here forever, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for those of you who don't know, I just came back from the UK since last year. <laughs> <laughs> No, because people that just came last week now will be trying to know as if we have not gone before. They, if, you, if you come back once, just put it on speed down. You just came back from the... Well, when I went to you guys, I saw accents. British, British, British Yoruba, British Igbo, British Yorubo. I saw one guy say, where are you from? He said, man, we're, we're, we're chilling in the UK. UK is lovely. I said, so, where, what's up? He said, um, right now I'm busy, but I'm going to show Eh? I said, how you can see my brother and I saw what they do I <laughs> I cannot come and keep myself. But if you want to travel to UK, that you have to be specific. Because we have a lot of UK. We have University of Kano, Ugeli Kingdom, and the United Kingdom. But when I went to UK at the wrong time, winter, if you see cold. And they were telling me, it's not even cold yet. I said, God will judge all of you. In Nigeria, this is the temperature they used to embalm dead bodies. And people are walking freely. <laughs> so all of you are spirits. Of nonsense. One cap man told me that is I feel I feel it's summer. I say, where are you from? It's not from Poland. I say your country was the Christian minus 25. I say you have died, but you don't know. 
I saw a guy drop me. I need who? I need a human to drive me. It's not spirit that will be driving me about. But I saw in UK, you don't know where you're going to. Google Map will lead. Even if you are trekking, Google Map will lead. Lagos. Google Map is Lagos is the only way Google Map will lead you to one way. <laughs> I used Google Map once. I just saw myself on the street. I was the only person going to that side. Everybody was coming. I know when you enter one way, you won't know. How you know is that people are coming and they will just be shaking their head. <laughs> my, mind said, my mind was telling me forever you are in one way. You are in one way. But I was already halfway and I saw last man at the end. I said, good. Let me go and let me go and ask last man. When I now saw last man, I now pack. I said, sir, is this one way? The guy said, yes, so this is where we they pay when we arrest them. <laughs> You've got it too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Forever, forever. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Forever. Yes, sir. How is the hustle? Sir, for the first time, I have to pronounce the hustle with the T. The hostel is real. <laughs> okay, how many seats are you trying to sell? Everything, no. no. <laughs> I know you have friends. Oh, your friends will sit down. My wife buys tickets. <laughs> you see, sir, this thing here is serious. But learn from him now. He... No, he sold at a free show now. We're not doing the same thing. <laughs> Learn from me now. You don't want to learn, no. Okay, let me learn. What am I learning? If the best way to uh, to sell out an event, okay, um, is just to give people ticket and hope that they will pay later. Don't force them to pay immediately. Yes, sir. Don't have them. children yet. Sir, let me listen to you. I want to invite It's a bachelor. But but does being a married man have anything to do with the way you spend money? Yes, sir. It changes everything. You want to buy rice with Roman milk. <laughs> you want to buy ah that pass. And the problem is you can't go out for free. And when I'm when you're going back, you not lie to your wife. Be why you are some in the estate. Because if you say I just left uh, your branch and buy so I've passed all the shops. <laughs> why are you not in the estate? Ah, why did you take so long? I was in the estate in the other side. He said, uh, so you are dodging when you go back. I told my wife once, I said, why are you a Samaran Lekki? He said, I just branch uh, a DA. I said, no, I mean Lekki Street. I ran Shomolu. This um, Buhari regime, yeah. uh, business has not flown as, you know, like it used to. Uh, so, how? How, you, how are we recovering? Uh, you know, when people are sick, it's different recovery. Mm -hmm. Some people fast and pray mm -hmm. and God heal them. Mm -hmm. Some people take Holy Communion. Some go for surgery. Some people go for surgery. <laughs> Some people leave themselves to death. They will not reject them. They say, we can't take you now. <laughs> so people are recovering based on... I just think that a lot of people were looking for excuses not to be hardworking. Or a lot of people had a lot of free money. They were getting mm -hmm. free money from many places. Mm -hmm. So those spots will not block. To them now the country has so died. trailer jump trailer jump can come up with that. Alright, so but but your show is at uh, Muson Center. Why did you, I keep asking this question? Why did you do a co hotel? Um, you know we need to learn from you. You've done a co hotel like four years now back to back. Huh? So we need to remember where we are. To until you move to Stadium, we can. Once you lead, we lead. Once you move, we move. I, I've gone to Indigo. Is another country. I'll do you in Enugu. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're, you're doing your show at Muson Center. Yes. Big hall. Why you? I'm, I'm repeating what you used. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm following. See, you're our leader. Or anything you do, we do. <laughs> okay. If you notice, my gate fee is the same price like last year. I'm just repeating. Why? Why? Why not? Okay. Do you have VIP seats? Yes, I have VIP seats. Okay, like how much? Twenty-five thousand naira okay. only. Okay, you don't do tables. Um, not really, because in my house we only have chairs. So I want to feel at home while performing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, who should we be looking forward to having on your show? Okay, um, Is so you get performing. Ah, uh, not really. I can't control him, so. <laughs> I can't control. So come on. Uh, it's a militant, though. That's one issue that I have because the show is for family friends. It's a family friendly <laughs> show. So, uh, are we is that? Uh, are we safe? <laughs> Mom, can I see close to the door? <laughs> you know, this guy is a natural 
the source of police at night. If you like, we have suit and tie. Ah, it's a Yahoo boy. He has dread. <laughs> In this country, dread is the uniform of Yahoo. But, but this Yahoo boys. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that the Yahoo boys have been overtaken by boys that buy bears with underwear. Uh, yes, one guy like that said was his mates were getting bears with underwear. He found underwear in DC. I remember that his grandmother of 90. So ah, let her die useful, a useful death. Okay. He went to collect the grandmother's underwear. Old one. He got his bears, but also old bears. <laughs> Regular. <laughs> those, uh, those, uh, they are still the Yahoo boys that. Buy the bears with the underwear. Okay. The, the, that, that one is just a side hustle. Okay. While they wait for the maga, they just I use that one. Yeah. Speaking from experience, yeah. well done. No, no, you, we just. And, and, and so I think those people, there was a guy that bought, I think, he used someone's um, underwear to buy the, um, a car. But because the lady was not a strong person spiritually, so he could only buy Uber with the underwear. <laughs> Till today, nobody gave him five star. Okay, he was just complaining. <laughs> and maybe because he has not carried, maybe he doesn't listen to Harry's song, that's why. All right, ladies, we'll take a break. And, <laughs> and when we're coming back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Opozo is in the house. All right. The next, the next uh, guy, uh, the first time that I saw him performing was in 1986. And uh, when I said it forever, I said, in Korea, I know me. All right, so most times people see uh, an artist. I, and this time I wasn't even a comedian. It was in Abraka. 1986, he came to perform with a band called the PM, PM Don or PM Jam. PM Jam. And PM Jam had talented undergraduates. Auchi Poli, Uniben, Epoma, Abraka, Porta Court. And they were, they were performing everywhere. So then I didn't see him again because I moved to Epoma. And then one day I came to Lagos. And I went to a place called Pintos. And he was there jamming with... Uh, these guys, there were like four of them, Hope, uh, yeah. Way, Jonathan, and uh, there's this boy in, in uh, UK now, he's a pastor. And, and I was like, Bishop, the Bishop. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. And I was like, hey guys. Uh, so, and Pintos at that time was a very small club. And it would be full. And then the treasure band would come. And treasure <laughs> band would tear the place apart. And then people like uh, God Bless, um, Sugar, all of them, uh, Janet, Fateh, and all of them were upcoming artists at the time. They were younger. This, this small boy is that time. Will we'll be big boy now. So this man is not young. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, please welcome Sami Okbozo. Subject to a handkerchief. Papa doesn't have. Ah ah. What are you talking about? Don't put me on Let's go. 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 let us go Oh, 
if I go through uh, Sami's uh, history of uh, playing music, I'll count from Chris Mba, Alexo, all the works, Alexito, and all Charlie of them. Boy, Charlie Boy, Boy, you, I know, even if the world no say so, I go let them know anywhere I go, cause even when I take, 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 it's your song. <laughs> You see that video when Ingo threatened her for toll gate? I saw it. Just <laughs> weak. <laughs> okay, so you've been in music for over 35 years. Ah, it already so. Uh uh. <laughs> 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 when did you first play the piano? I was eight. I was eight years old. Just playing. I didn't know what I was playing. But I was just gifted. I think my, my Sunday school teacher, Uncle Eddie, in Sunday school, he would... This is what he said. He said when he... He would say, who's going to help us sing a song? I'll raise my hand. Who's going to help us act this part? I'll raise my hand. So I was very, very interested in the artistic things. And he said, maybe this kid, OK. It was my eighth year uh, birthday. So he bought me a little piano, battery operated. He said, maybe this one will open up something. So you know, let's thank God for good day. So the school teachers yeah, yeah. and teachers who identify. And that's how we started. The guy just brought it. Every other gift that they gave me on my eighth birthday. I wasn't looking. This one. My little finger. I was picking out nursery rhymes. I didn't even know how the melody was coming together, but they were. So it was strange to everybody around me. And when my Uncle Eddie was asked, he said he knew there was something musical in me. So he just wanted to... Okay, let me, let me ask this thing. What talent did your uncles discover in you? <laughs> To run very fast on an when errand. When they send you message. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. It is speed for ground. Ah, if you not before it dry. I always break that record. I always break that record. I'm lying. <laughs> okay, you've worked on producing like the time of uh, Femi Jetunde. Ah, all of you. Yes, you've all all you you guys at the time. You've worked on producing songs. Did you did you work you worked with Alexo? Yeah, we worked on this album together. That album, Chris Hanen, Ziggy Zaga. Yeah, Ziggy Zaga. Uh -uh. Ever, 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 then there was Fame Music Awards. There was Fame Music Awards. And you guys, what happened to Treasure Band? No, Treasure Band, then, well, I mean, myself, Hope, Abola Shadare, Jonathan. And then Way. Wayne, Zubi and Nebeli, Manny AK. Okay. You know? Those were the, they were the jingle masters hey. at the time. So I think Treasure Band was on up until I got to the point where I said, you wanted to I wanted gospel. to go back to my roots because my whole musical life started from church. Okay. Yeah, from youth choir to... So I was like... And that I, was when you joined House on the yes, Rock? Yes, that was when, at, oh, um, That shop mall. 49, I mean, Monadio Choir. Okay. From Pastor Paul's mom's living room. Okay. From the all night. From the very scratch. There was nobody there. Just me and the drum. So, at that time... I just said I need to go back. I mean, my I was not fulfilled doing any other genre of music, which was which was my choice because the expressions I wasn't feeling the full capacity of the expressions. Okay, trying to be an R and B guy or Western, so it didn't work. And I also wanted to be Afrocentric. Okay, because I I, I produced a lot of artists who were very Western. And I saw them come and, and disappear. So I'm like, no names, no names, just, just, uh, just saw them. No, 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 no names. They came and went, and I'm like, what is the problem? 
But I think that was at a time where there was like a shift coming into the whole Nigerian entertainment industry okay. where Nigerians were now consuming uh, our comedy, songs. our songs, our everything. So Wellu Wellu dropped just in the middle of that shift. Okay. And it was like, I mean, at and first, epiphany. Yeah, at first, people were like, what is this young man doing? Tie rapper and singing. This is the gospel. What is this? This is gospel that we watch this. What are you doing? At this your young age, you should be doing breakdance. And, but I just believed in the fact that that Afrocentric sound was going to take over. Okay. I mean, at least Nigeria first before it's exported. And first one year, nothing was happening. But boom. Now, now. I need that. I need that. I want you to listen to me. Everybody thinks that once you drop it, you should blow. He mm. said, first one year, nothing, nothing was happening. How did you manage? We were just there looking at it because then we still had a lot of foreign influence. The radio stations were, were still very audience. hesitant to play our songs because they just felt that we can't feel our. They were playing, dumb playing foreign stuff. And, so one year, then another year went by. This one, hmm. I was like, hmm, oh God, I've made a mistake. And you were competing with Rejoice Africa. I'm telling you, with all the integrity music and all the rest. Hmm. But after two and a half years, it just took Did one, you hear? Yeah, after, after two and a half years. Did you hear? Of one song. Two and a half years old. Yes, after, after two and a half years, it just took one guy, and that was like the emergence of AIT. So AIT was a big deal. And the guy just took the video and just played it once. Ah. Station manager said, that's your video. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Every presenter was started looking. Playing it. They started playing it. Every station was looking for it. So I was just on my own looking. Of course, the module, no social media. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that time, Ali, when you blow, you blow. Mm. Yes, it was real. It so was. now we have a lot of things to enhance it, to make it happen, to fast track it. But at that time, you work hard as a Nigerian artist or comedian or whatever, or actor, to just stay on top of your game. You will sweat. You will be taken advantage of. You will walk for free. You will sing for free. But we all kept our eyes on the prize. We knew it was going to change. The passion just kept me. I, I mean, the money was not the focus. We just knew that when this thing would change, it would change. And when it did, it was like a reference point till today. And I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. Nabi? <laughs> Who died there? <laughs> Who died? <laughs> imagine, imagine staying two and a half years before one joke gets funny. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true? Is it true? Because um, the the Christian um, gospel music now has come to has come to um, a state. Of, you know, it's not going to say something right, Abi. The moment it switched from two and a half, then let's say gospel music. I knew that. Let him land now. Ah, this crashed already. You must <laughs> <laughs> I just keep my hand like this. Let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's just take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Opozo, um and you have a new song in the market now. Hey, um, Jehovah, don't do me something. Uh, <laughs> and uh, sing, sing it. Uh, you make Jehovah, don't do me something. Hey, okay, which key are you on? Reverend Simon. He's on Simon Q1. Do you have um, <laughs> Sadiki? Can we have our drinks? Can we have our drinks? Let's toast. Uh, 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 thank you. You are there now. He has a show coming up, I told you that. Whatever. Yes, yes now. I was there last year. Now. Yes. How much is gate fee before we go to gate fee? Bros, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, there, yes, gate fee. Gate fee regular is 5,000. Uh -huh. VIP is 25,000. April 7 at Muson Center. April 7 is in two weeks. Yeah, two, two weeks, weeks from now. Two Sundays from now. If what if INEC postpone it? <laughs> that is inconclusive. No, that is when you know that INEC means independent because I'm independent of INEC. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, 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 they show we would. Okay. Or, or they didn't give you a drink. <laughs> no, I don't need you. I want to say a ticket. That's what I <laughs> Why would I be drinking? Am I made it? If, I, if I'm drinking, I want to. They would think I'm disrespectful. Yeah, that's good. Don't be drinking for me, please. I want to say a ticket.
They are bringing it for you, not hey, let me oh, well, Just take a little for the tickets. Are you doing bundle tickets? Like, bundle. if you buy 10, you get yes. two? Uh -huh. No, if you buy 10, 10% 10 discount. <laughs> okay. We are working with the numbers. Okay. Yes. I see. So, 10 okay, you're, you're you're 20, 20, 20 percent. Yes, that's it. You buy 100, 100 percent. That means that it's one. You not take it. That means you don't know God. Okay, so <laughs> artists that are performing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, we, because there's a new. Yeah, started with we, we, OV Godwin, uh -huh. the, one of the winners. The of winners of Sports United that made, made me buy second car for. Oh. It's God that used that. Fage. <laughs> it will be mm -hmm. Mr. Paul, the, the most stupid comedian in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh -huh. Grand Commander is the host, then Loud Voice, and If You Worry Boy. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So someone was like, why are the big guys on there? I said, because we have a lot of Nigerian comedians that people have not seen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that um, we need to begin to embrace everybody. And showcase. Okay. There are many funny people. Okay. Because you can't you can't take it out from Mr. Yenana. He's a strong guy. Married in the occasion online. <laughs> <laughs> we have many. So that's why we want to do it this way. And it's also is a comedy special. So I'll be performing for a very long time. Oh. I'll do it like one hour, 30 minutes. Yes, we're working towards that. Last year we did one hour, uh, want to do one hour, 30 minutes. Six hours now and just. <laughs> so I took it, it took you 27 years of a career. <laughs> Thank you. How old am I? <laughs> I can do six hours, so I just carry you for one hour, then sit with you for the remaining five hours to make you six hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're toasting to uh, the young boy who was called by Bill Clinton. Oh, yes. The chess player. The chess champion. Uh, may, may all the people that will bring us good name and make us proud. May all, may all of them come to Nigeria and begin to do us proud. Okay. All right. Uh, Sammy, I've got. Your passport, how many passports you get now? Because you travel a lot. A booklet, um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, to your right there, ask him how many passports you get. Passport. Which of no. no passport for two girls? <laughs> no, we're talking about international. See, I'm afraid to travel with Ailana. <laughs> so you mean like to carry a travel for sure? No. Because if you not come back. Yes. Ah. Yes. God yes. forbid. No, it's not in Nigeria. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't and that is, you won't come back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's toast to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The elections are over. Yes. Uh, the losers should uh, wait till four years. And if you're going to court, go to court and uh, stop uh, fighting everybody. Right, yes. they say. Uh, peace to Nigeria. Unity. We're all together. We we'll die here. We we'll die here. Cheers. 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 Oh, Rafa, chase me. Yes, sir. Let me collect race. Yeah. Well done. Thanks, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our Thanks, show. Kids. A little bit serious. We'll be back to your screen next week. Uh, same yes. time, 10.30, after the news line. My name is Ali Baba signing out. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Sammy! I'm here. Go here. Go here. Jehovah, yeah. don't do me something, no. One. <laughs> it's in a marvelous Take. thing, no. Four. Take, 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 take. Jehovah, don't do me something. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. it is a marvelous thing. Oh. Jerry, my life is a testimony. I saw a delicate good thing now. Jehovah, <laughs> don't do me something. Oh. And that's Bob Away said, They go flock, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, 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 it is a marvelous thing. Oh. One more time, everybody say, Jehovah, don't do me something, no. Ah, Prince, I like your harmony. <laughs> it is a marvelous thing. <laughs> Jehovah, don't do me something, no. Hey, oh, it is a marvelous thing, no. This is what we'll be saying all through our lives. Amen. My life is a testimony, yo. Have it not been so? Hey. Jehovah, don't do me something, no. Let's take it home, my brother. My life is a testimony, oh. Hey, oh, oh. it is a marvelous thing, oh. Yeah. Oh, worth ya, Nigeria Limited. <laughs>